Can we get Bob Kelly on the on the phone to congratulate him? I don't know if he's in the what his he st- I think his wife might be still in the hospital. She might be coming home today, so he might be uh, coming home today. Yeah, really so sure. a little he posted a little um, Vine video of him just smiling. That's a great video. Smiling, yeah. smiling for like three quarters of the six seconds. I know. And then uh, and then they show the baby for like the last little. Thing. How about this? He Bob? gives his kid one second. I know. Six. How about you? You show because it, it looks like a monster movie with a happy ending. <laughs> That's what that Vine video looked like. <laughs> it's kid great. is beautiful. Yeah. Bob's fucking kid is adorable. Really Absolutely. is a very cute kid. Smiling, smiling, and there's the kid. Aww. Full head of hair. Yeah. Look at Bob. Bob's a daddy. Holy shit. I know. That's awesome. The good for Bobby. Yeah, they wanted a baby. That's why I think Bob would be a good dad, because they, they, they tried and for tried a long and time, finally had one. So. <laughs> you got your baby. You carried around a uh, bandolier. Dude, you know what, dude? You got the little booties. You got the hat. Boom, you give him a kiss. <laughs> you know what, dude? You got the nipple. You got the bob up. Boom, you put your formula in. Look at this iPhone app. You hit this, and boom, the formula mixes up. You hit the iPhone app. The kid comes up. All right, Bob. It's a new baby app. They got the watch also. You got to have the watch. So, you can, boom, you're looking at the baby monitor right there on my watch. He's going to have all the, oh, yeah. oh, all the gadgets He's and gizmos. All. He'll be good, though. Because he, again, they really wanted yeah. it. So you know, th- this is not a mistake. They wanted no, a kid. No, they no, no. Tried for a while, right? Yeah. Oh my god! Mm. So they were so happy when Dawn got pregnant, and they were like, "Fucking, you know, yeah. really psyched." It's if you if you want a baby, and you want to have kids, you're going to probably be a good parent because you really, as opposed to you know, people that have twelve kids and settle on it. Yeah, don't want don't want half of them. Yeah, yeah, I got that I, happened I, somewhere. Oh boy, does it ever? Uh looks like Bobby's not picking up. We should talk about uh, Roy Hibbert. Roy? Another uh, athlete that has to apologize because he fucking said some shit. He ripped off our little uh, line. He said uh, no homo, right? Yeah. Was that the gay slur? You're lying. Let me tell you something. Yes. I am absolutely going to say. I never heard no homo until we started uh, saying it on the show. No one used to say no homo. You got it. Uh, whatever you, you, whatever you'd you ask a question, they would. <laughs> well, it was something that was gay. No, you got it from an intern. Yeah, who learned it from hip hop. Yeah. Oh yeah. What, what did intern he say? told us? Uh, I, I no know homo. exactly. I was going to claim that. Bobby the Champ. He yep. said no homo. No, You're right. I don't remember Bobby the Bobby Champ. the Champ. Sorry, can't believe my Which line got say? nothing. Oh, what was it? I don't know. I got a zero. Yeah. Oh man, I missed <laughs> it. Okay. Do you have that? I will. Okay. <laughs> oh, it, didn't, it didn't even, it didn't. Oh, nothing. didn't do well at all. didn't register <laughs> anything. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, that wasn't you guys that made that up. You got that from Bobby. Awkward. The I could Awkward. swear it was He was us. going around the office no homoing like, you know, Than and Travis and Danny, and then, he, which is something he took from the dialect, the community. I don't remember that at all. Yeah, Who would have thought you were quoting hip hop without even realizing? I'm not it. even fucking. I'm not buying it yet. We look like oh, assholes. I want proof. We look like assholes right now. I want proof. Bobby, you got to call in. What happened? What happened? No, oh. the wire paintball thing is tonight. Oh. And I'm thinking of going. And man, they got some fucking good people. That's going. a year ago already. Yep. Oh. What, what's Snoop his name? Going to be in? there. Fucking Benga. Uh, Benga. I wasn't invited nice. this time. You were. Uh, no, we weren't invited this year. Yeah, Jamie didn't come on this Our year. Our star has dropped me, a bit because we were invited last year, not so much this year. Jamie invited me. But, uh... <laughs> Our oh, star's well. going to hit the ground soon. Oh. Yeah, right? <laughs> Holy fuck. Be more we're sweet. not even invited to paintball anymore. I know. We were invited for a few years there. I was actually this close tonight to going to a Robert De Niro event. Whoa. You're not going? No. Well, they said no? Yeah. What do you mean they said no? What happened? Well, it's for certain people. Yeah. So I know a certain person, and uh, unless you're um, affiliated with um, certain organizations, eh, you can't go. I so, have no idea. I know. Well, suffice to say, that's about all I could say. But um, here's your paper and right. here's your pen. <laughs> you go. And while Anthony oh, and we got Jim's joke, Travis I, is saying. And I want to plug one thing. Uh, yes, what's the joke, uh, Travis? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What you I am th- absolutely going to say. I never heard no homo until we started uh, saying it on no our show. No one used to say no homo. You got it. 
What? Whatever the, you you, whenever you'd you ask a question, saying? they would. Well, it was something that was gay. <laughs> <laughs> they would oh, say no. No, homo. homo right, okay. <laughs> I think it was a great joke, but uh, it literally... It should was, have gotten something. No. It, no, it, it got lost. But it, it literally was like a, a cotton ball yes. blew across the floor. It, it, it got lost. There was a lot of chatter. Yeah, there was a lot of chatter. A lot of chatter. It happens. I'm still going on record saying uh, we came up with no homo. Well, we got Bobby the Champ on the line. Oh. Bobby, we don't really remember you. you got to refresh our memory. Who are you? First of all. Who are you? Uh, well, I guess I didn't do that good of a job getting noticed, but no homo was when I used to just harass, like Sam said, Travis and uh, Than, and then some of the other interns, I used to touch them inappropriately. <laughs> no, no homo. Oh, yeah, I vaguely um, remember this. How many years ago? Uh, this was 2004 and five. I was upon it as first. I don't remember this guy at all. Wait, you you yeah, worked he, on the show eight or nine years ago now? You got Number a picture? one, you yelled at him yeah. for using your megaphone. Yeah. I've done that a Number few two, times. he's the intern that Jay Moore got naked and started wrestling in the K-Rock studio out of nowhere. Well, yeah. Uh, what do you have to do to get him. remembered around still here? Still can't place him. you got to well, be David. Jay's, that's Jay's request. you got to be intern David. Wow. That's Jay's request, though. When he does our show, he wants someone naked. So. Naked, yes. Uh, he was the naked one. Yeah, I know. Uh, you got a picture? I'll try to find one. I mean, Bobby the Champ. I threw up. I threw up eggs one time at you guys' request. Oh, well, that so could I, be. I took it the next. Well, yes. Well, here's the big question: Nothing. How old are you now? First of all, twenty-eight. And, and what did the internship bring you? Because we've learned from oh. uh, from what's his? I forgot his name. Intern David. No, the other one that the cream pie. Joe. Cream pie. Joe. Cream pie. <laughs> That his internship did not work out in his favor. <laughs> Green Pie's not happy. He's not happy with some Being of the videos affiliated. that are online. What about Bobby the Champ? Uh, well, I'm in finance now, so. Oh, okay. Right. So I, 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 I'm doing well. Intern updates? I heard from Alan Thick Jr., of all people. Oh. And? He uh, did not secure the position at Rockstar Games. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That, uh, oh. And did his eyebrows grow back? His eyebrows have sort of grown back, although he said that he didn't count on the fact that his parents' friends listened to the show, so his family found out about that, oh. and they were disappointed. Well, what are they going to find out anyway? Uh, he said that uh, the for his time as an intern... Uh, personally, professionally, and academically, was a was a low point. <laughs> for, <laughs> Who said that for him? Alan Thick Jr. Already? Yeah. Why it was? Uh, I think it was fun. He got on the radio. What's he? What do people want when they intern? I don't here? know. I don't know. It's the fuck. It's the Opie and Anthony look, show. You get on the air. Look, it worked out for Bobby the Champ. He's in financing now. Finance. Maybe you right? guys don't remember who he is. World of high finance. <laughs> he had like twenty bits. You don't remember who he is. Well, you don't. You can't even find a picture of him. Yeah, exactly. exactly. A lot who of her is this fucking Palooka? Pat Duffy. You'll find <laughs> a lot of pictures of our old interns online not so much for intern Bobby the david Champ. find him i bet yeah, yeah maybe even fucking <laughs> ju 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 julia or julie whatever you're uncontrollable oh, 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 oh. yeah you got to make a real splash around here <laughs> jay moore had intern bobby play cocker sack <laughs> what <laughs> there's a bit called intern bobby plays how cocker long is this sack. five minutes uh, cocker sack oh here we go okay well, here's a photo See, that's Bobby the Champ with the championship belt right there. Ron oh, I remember you, Bobby. Him. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, okay. I remember you, Bobby. A little bit. Well, that's Pauly that he's with. Yeah. Don't get confused. No, I remember no. Bobby now. Pauly's voice sounded a picture, like a trumpet. I do remember. All right. Wow. They come and go, don't they? Robert Kelly was on the line and just hung up. Oh. Because of Bobby? I guess. Very busy. We were trying to move on from Bobby the Champ he's to get to Robert got, Kelly. Probably got baby things to do. Yeah. He's very busy, man. I can't wait on hold. Mm. When's he getting back out on the uh, scene, the comedy scene? I think he's taking a couple weeks. Is he? Maybe a month. A couple weeks. Take a little time. Bobby, anything else? Uh, no, that's it, guys. Thanks. All right. Wow. We'll talk to you another eight Good years. luck Thanks. to you and your future um, endeavors. He's probably making Thanks. more money than us. That's son oh, of a man. Bitch. All right, Bobby. Bye. Bobby the champ, everyone. He came up with no homo. Fair enough. All right. I could swear we were saying no homo before that, but... You were <laughs> Well, Roy Hibbert uh, said no homo. Did, did he, he say anything else? Uh, I got the, the... Oh, you got the clip? Yeah, the clip. Oh, the apology. I got the clip and then the apology, I think, is text. You know what? They, they shouldn't have press conferences anymore. I know. Because these guys are, are are talking and just saying what, they're, what they feel. And, they and sorry, that. guess what? They're going to say some shitty stuff. You should go to the press and go, here, how about this? 
we're not talking anymore. Right. Because you take everything we say right. and uh, try to get us in trouble with it. And I don't... And then uh, drop the N-bomb. I don't think he's saying shitty stuff, but, uh, you know, no, some of the stuff he's going to say might offend someone. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Now what? You yeah. can't handle this? This is what he uh, said in a press conference after the, the Heat Pacers game. Game three here. I really felt that uh, I let Paul down in terms of uh, having his back when LeBron was scoring in the post or getting to the paint because they stretched me out so much. No homo. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, uh, <laughs> that was it. That was, it was and, then he, and then he had to go and apologize for that. For that. His apology he wrote. And that was funny. Uh, yeah. I am apologizing for insensitive remarks made during the post-game press conference after our victory over Miami Saturday night. They were disrespectful and disrespectful and offensive, and not a reflection of my personal views. Oh. I used a slang term that is not appropriate in any setting, public, private, or public. That sounds like a very genuine public. statement. That doesn't sound like that was written by anybody else. <laughs> uh, Jimmy, it certainly does. What I know, you Cuck Sucker. I was oh. just being ironic. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> the Pacers organization said, let's fucking put out a statement. We're going to write it up, and we'll say you said this. Yeah, yeah. For saying no homo? That was, that's nothing. Why can't you say no homo? See, he should have said pause. You can? Uh, you can. I just did. No homo. I thought sports would no be... No homo. I get it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I thought sports would be the last place this shit would go down. But more than ever, it's happening uh, with sports guys, right? And he was even laughing when he said no homo. It's funny. Like, it's, just funny. it's funny. Why can't funny just be funny? Well, you gotta you gotta figure out the slang that like the general public doesn't oh. quite know yet. Well, yeah. you you didn't get the you best know? part of the story. What? That cost him seventy five thousand dollars. That's the annoying part. Whoa! How do you put a dollar value on saying no homo? The NBA sued him for seventy five thousand, and the NBA also forces these fucking guys to do these uh, press conferences. So as a player, I would go, look, I don't know what I'm going to say, and I don't feel right. like losing seventy five to a hundred thousand dollars because I might slip and say some dumb. Seventy five, or what you uh, uh, think is dumb. Jeez. He also uh, tweeted Jason Collins, the uh, the NBA player who came out last yeah. month yesterday saying uh, hey can i get a follow would like to discuss some things with you oh my god they're gonna, Ew. Uh, what the? can i get a can i get a follow oh so why don't you just call like, someone you know and email them right so is that kind of like a hey i want to discuss yeah, sensitivity he's scared. He's scared because the, 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 the gay uh, how do you guys do it yeah what do you guys do right that would have been great if he'd said i want to discuss some things with you no homo yeah, <laughs> i want exactly. to discuss some things no homo yeah not your cock and balls in parentheses <laughs> no no homo is such a, a easy way to say I, I'm saying this, but I don't mean I want to have gay sex. Yeah. Right. Instead of saying, oh, I'm saying this, I want to get No homo. It's <sighs> easy. No homo. Right? That's why they invented pause. That's what you say now. You say pause. No, it's so cats can walk. Pause. That way you don't. <laughs> chip. <laughs> Fucking chip. <laughs> that way you don't have to use the word homo. You just say pause. I, I, why is that? That's what you do, because you're like, oh, pause. Like, I didn't mean it in a gay way. Like, uh, you go, oh, I, you know, they they stretched me out, pause. But then what happened was da-da-da. Is that uh, what was... they do now? Yeah. All yeah. right. People don't pick up on it. I mean, it's been around do for a long time. Do you say pause but... or you just pause? No, you say the you word pause. You have to pause. say pause. That's Your nose silly. is running, by the way. At 30, that's humiliating. Is it? Yeah. Sam's you nose got booger? Is, yeah, it's just wet under his nose. Yeah. Yeah. Child. You're doing uh -huh. coke before the show? No, but he people get allergies at 30 fucking, sometimes. Doing a few bumps. To keep the it. toilet seat? He's, he's crazy. What are you doing? I gotta do something. His day is fucking like nuts, so he's gotta do a show after this. <laughs> right. He's fucking gotta do the coke. Right. And I gotta make sure the sauce is stirred. <laughs> right. I gotta get rid of these guns. <laughs> Pick up my fucking... The helicopters. Yeah, then there's helicopters. You must see that. Yeah. Did they really find him 75000 for that? Yep. Holy no homo. Fuck. It's wrong with people. David, no one, and David by Stern the way, should be embarrassed. no one was outraged by that. No one was outraged. Was there any by him uh, pushback? No homo. Pause. There you go. Pause. <laughs> was there any good. pushback? Pause. No homo. No pause. <laughs> <laughs> homo pause. What? No, no pause translates to homo. homo. No, that's what I said. I was like, yes. Yeah, so this guy, right? He, I was. We would juggle in balls. No pause. <laughs> no pause. No pause. Right, so you were having oh. Yeah. So you were juggling this. That's cool. This balls. <laughs> How long until pause becomes the p word? Oh, I know. Yeah. yeah. Hey, now. I know. Pause the words. Oh, I feel bad for Roy Hibbert. They're holding, they're holding him fucking hostage, man.
That's what happens. For being funny during a press conference. No one notices until they freak out and have to say something. And then the original group that would have been outraged, right. if, you know, then they jump on and go, this is a great opportunity for us and, to get some publicity. And then these assholes uh, come out and go, well, you know, I appreciate they apologized, but that's not good enough. Yeah. When an apology used to be good enough. You know, it's great to hear an apology, <laughs> right. but it's just not enough. Right. In this day and age oh, of... shut up. Uh, Everybody's just so stiff. Pause. Oh, you meant like a hard-on. Like a male no, engorged I said, I said cock. Pause. I what? Not. I didn't mean the oh, hard on. Oh, sorry. Pause. No homo. I'm no just homo. gonna keep saying no homo. Because <laughs> you think you invented it. Yeah, I invented it. <laughs> it actually. The, I, I don't. I maybe the intern got it from somewhere. They say it started in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. And I'm like, what a fucking weird uh, location. Why, why Bethlehem, there? Pennsylvania? That's odd. I don't. I mean, whatever. I mean, it's not about this, but. Um, <gasps> what, what is it? What's going on? I'm sorry, Jimmy. What? Something happened with your candy game? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. This too, I, I have more on this story. Oh, I, no, no, go. I apologize for stepping Yeah, because I want to hear what happened yeah. in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. I, sorry. No, no, no. I, I just that uh, there was tickets on sale for myself and Artie and Amy and Attell oh. for July 20th. So that started the discussion. Like, well, you guys are going to be at the Sands Casino. Isn't that where No Homo started? Oh. I, said, I don't know. And I forgot all about that discussion until it just came up here. So now <laughs> I, it just came. It just worked out that way. It wasn't what I planned. But where could you get tickets? Ticketmaster, you oh, homo. Okay. All right. <laughs> 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 Remember how we said the apology is not good enough? Yeah. So I'm reading an article oh, on this no. fucking thing. While uh, Roy has issued an apology, which is no doubt sincere, a fine is necessary to reinforce that such offensive comments will not be tolerated by the NBA. I'm so sick of David this. fucking Stern. Hey. What a piece of shit he is. How the fuck David Stern, you're a man. You understand exactly what that was about. A little, that was funny, and it wasn't offensive. We're at such a weird. We're at such a weird place. We're at such a weird. Seventy-five G's for saying no homo. Mm. These guys shouldn't have to do press conferences. Then David Stern, I, I would. If I was Roy Hibbert, I would fucking sue Stern. <laughs> I'd sue him. I go look. You know, you, you're 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 forcing us to do these press conferences after yeah. these games. I'm talking at the top of my head. I'm fucking tired. I just ran up and down a, a court a thousand. Fucking right? Times yeah. And then you get out there. You sat there looking all fat and shit in the stands, fielding these fucking questions. Right. And you see, you know, you want to say something off the top of your head. You think it's a little funny, and then it costs you seventy five large. Seventy five large. That's crazy. Insane. And the coach coming out, Pacers coach Vogel says, it's simple, I support him, I know he's not that person, and, and that it was a mistake. Why, why are we talking about this to this level? And why isn't anyone being honest going, look, the, the Vogel, the coach there should say, look, it was funny, sorry. Yeah. Maybe maybe someone out there is offended, but he didn't mean anything by it, period. I don't know what gay groups and fucking black groups and everything else think is going to happen because of these like jokes or statement right he's not advocating beating homosexuals okay there's there's all there's there's you know gay bashing that genuinely goes on uh i had a couple of instances here in manhattan as a matter of fact you're right a and uh, uh <laughs> i cut my knee both knees as a matter of fact that was before the assault <laughs> on a very gravelly back alley <laughs> uh jimmy <laughs> Yeah, but uh, like saying something like that, someone isn't going to be watching and go, you know, I got to beat me up a fag. Right. It just doesn't fucking work that way. But everyone's lying. Stop. You, you know what works that way? Feeling like you're being backed in a corner and, and having your life controlled. And that builds resentment for groups. Right. Like when a group tells me shit I can and can't do, that should just be ordinary freedoms, that builds fucking resentment and intolerance and hatred. Bravo. So fuck you, and, and be, you should be able to say things like no homo. And, and everyone's lying in this situation. Uh, let me read Vogel's statement again. There's more to it, too. It's simple. I support him. I know he's not that person, that it was a mistake. It wasn't a mistake. I'm not a mistake. It wasn't not a, mistake. a mistake. Vogel, you're no. lying. He said it. Because that's what they say. It's a joke. That, uh, right. 
a lot of people use no homo, and and he realized he said something that was sort of yeah could be perceived as gay. So he said no homo. It was funny. Just a dumb to funny say, thing. If he meant to say no shlomo, <laughs> right. and it came out no homo, that's a mistake. If he meant to say it and he said it, right. that's a joke. Well, then he writes, he knows he's wrong. I didn't have to tell him that, and we all love and support him. No, he doesn't know he was wrong. Oh, my No, God. he knows he has to fucking do this tap dance shit because yeah. everyone's scared shitless. Oh, that's shitless. racist right there. Fucking oh, racist. Oh, tap dance. Oh, he's going to do a little soft pause, shoe pause. for you. No, pause, pause. pause. Oh, now you're homophobic, too. Oh, pause, no, no pause. pause. Tap what? No, oh, no pause, no, tap now dancing. Now it's No, no, no. <laughs> Sam, I, I told know. Sam, just come. No pause. Oh, this is some of the <laughs> worst hatred I've ever heard on the air. <laughs> I like the Jim's thing. Is no pause. No pause whatsoever. No pause at <laughs> all. Get those paws away from me. <laughs> Vogel, the coach again. Obviously, he made a great mistake. Right, he feels it. horribly about it. It. No, he doesn't. In, it's, 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 no, he it's feels not true. terrible. He doesn't feel terrible. Yeah, I bet he feels terrible when he's got to write that fucking check. That's when he, <laughs> well, feels, that's terrible. When he feels terrible. And and the resentment you'd feel toward an organization that would make you pay seventy five right. large, right? You know, whether it's the NBA or the reason that you have to, which right. is you know, oh, I say no homo, and and because the gays have deemed that off limits. That I got to now pay seventy five grand. What do you think is going to garner more fucking intolerance? Have the gays deemed that off limits? I don't know. Homo? No, I don't homo. know. First of all, it's short for homosexual. Well, have they? It's fine. There's Why is a, homo uh, bad? I don't know. There's a nonprofit called Athlete Alley. Right. And they issue. Oh, oh, that sounds gay right there. Well, they're I put working. it right up the old Athlete Alley. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no pause. No pause. Uh, no, no pause. No, no pause. No pause whatsoever. No pause. Not even considering no a pause. pause. What? No pause. <laughs> they're, they're, uh, they're working to end homophobia in sports. Oh, yeah? And uh, they said, we're confident the NBA will do its part to rectify the issue. Rectify? The rectify. Oh, oh, come on. No pause. No pause. No pause. No pause. No I know the lingo. Go ahead, guys. Not even an <laughs> ounce of pause right Right there, go guys! Jesus, comprehensively educated. Comprehensive what? <laughs> Who seems genuinely apologetic and make sure these kind of comments are soon a thing of the past? Oh, why don't we all just become robots already? We're trying if we well, listen to the first we're break. All comprehensively well, educated. Why have free thinking at this point? Free thinking, stupid. You're not allowed to have free thinking. Generally. It's dumb. If something you find funny, and you know other people find it funny, right? But if you say it, it's it's you get in trouble. Why? I, I'm blown away by this, Roy. Blown. Pause. No pause. pause. <laughs> Homo. <what? laughs> Would it have been homophobic if he had said, "Yeah, he stretched me out." Oh, I don't. I don't mean he fucked me in the butt. <laughs> but, <laughs> like, he just right. Right. Out. Is that he probably right. would have gotten less heat from right. that because right. it wasn't even right. it wasn't even in the <laughs> right. term of gay. Right. It's like I just meant he didn't fuck me in the ass. Is what right. I meant. <laughs> but oh, then, whoops! That sounds like he uh, fucked me in the ass. I didn't. That's not what I meant. Not what I meant at all. And everyone shuts their fucking mouths, and no one uh, sticks up for Roy Hibbert and explains exactly what all that was about. That's what amazes me. Mm. You're not going to get we anyone do. in sports going. Mm -hmm. Look, the guy just, you know, it's uh, no homo is a is a is all over pop culture, yeah. and that's why he said it. And it was funny, and sure, maybe people were offended, but he doesn't give a fuck about, you know, he's not obsessed right. with gays or any of that shit. You but just put it into context. Like this is a man who's obviously very immature in the sense that he, it, it's funny that he's making it's, millions of right, dollars right. and he's going to a press conference say making no jokes homo. about getting when fucked When you say homo... Butt. Where's Charles Barkley? Yeah. He, he seems like he'd be one of the only guys that would fucking explain exactly what this is about. The word homo is like using the word duty. It's like, as an adult, homo. to say homo, it's funny. Right. It's like, like saying, yeah, I, oh, I, he went duty. <laughs> and what other professional would say... He stretched me out so much, and then immediately go. Just Whoa! think, uh oh, <laughs> right. but fuck but him. every guy thinks every guy that has any sense of humor thinks that. Yeah, is there? Yeah, and I guess we need the listeners to help us out. Is there one fucking guy coming forward to explain what this Roy Hibbert thing's all about? Or are they all hiding? They're all petrified. everyone's scared, so they have to hide under rocks until this goes away, right? Gay, yeah, I mean, black, and occasionally Asians. 
Uh, don't even try oh. fucking goofing on them. Oh. See, you can't even do that. Oh. There was actually a time you couldn't even imitate a, oh. an Asian gentleman. No matter what they sound like. If you wanted to if you wanted to let everybody know, tell a little story on the air, say, yeah, I went to Chinatown, I was buying something, and the gentleman said to me. Now normally you could just imitate someone's voice. Mm -hmm. If you oh I was in Little Italy, I went to the fucking table and the guy goes, Hey, what do you want for dinner? You know, you could do that without getting in trouble. Right. But if you go, oh, I was in Chinatown and some guy came up to me and he goes, Oh, what do you want for dinner? Then it's like, ah, fuck. Oh, we got to get him fired because he made fun of that. It's like, no, I was imitating the motherfucker. That was that Lou guy. Yes. What was his first name? John Lou. John, John Lou. Oh, he, that, and John Lou went after all the, uh, yes. after everybody doing Asian shit there's on There's all this bad shit around his administration. Right. I hope that, that twat is running for something. Yeah. And there's been fucking a lot of people around him that have had some questionable some dealings. Dirt. Great. He is, he's, uh, he's running for mayor. Yeah. At the yeah, good for him. Scumbag. Yeah. He's very a scumbag. Very low in the polls. Very low. Of course he is. He's an irrelevant man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With and an obviously small cock. And Elephant, Wiener man. was getting, uh, he was getting booed at the, which, which parade did they have this weekend? Every weekend uh, there's a parade in there. It's a Jewish parade, city. right? Was it? In Crown Heights? I don't know. Oh, I thought it was, I, am I wrong? Am I wrong? Guys? I love the Wiener jokes, though. Like the paper goes, hey, Wiener, pull your pecker out. No, they never say that. <laughs> it's... Oh, by the way, Roy Hibbert also said uh, I motherfucker. I hate his name. Did he? He said motherfucker, too. Uh, Why did no, he say motherfucker? Mother's coming he called, forward. Uh, he called the reporters mother motherfuckers. N angrily, or are you motherfuckers? No. Like, oh, you slang. motherfuckers. Yeah. All right. You motherfuckers. I say that a lot. Look but but they're making it seem like the 75,000 was because of no homo. <sighs> There's the uh, Israel, Israel parade. Oh. This guy is marching in the parade, getting booed at him. He's just yeah. smiling and waving. <laughs> <Yeah>. He <laughs> yeah. is. He just doesn't care. And I think he's oblivious to the whole thing. Yeah. I really do. Doing little wiener puns. He he thinks uh, yeah. he's got a, a shot, so he's he's going for right, it. I'll tell you one thing I liked about this guy it was he was we well here's what I liked about Wiener and no Wiener. pause oh no no, no, <laughs> no pause whatsoever remove all pause um, he was very passionate about what he liked and I don't think this affected his job at all. I understand yeah. that it opens you for blackmail and that is a legit concern that if you're behaving in a seedy way. Not that people can get you to change the Constitution, but if there's a little something they want, hey, look, I know you're sending pictures. You had uh, it does push you in a shady place, sure, in, in, a, in a weak position. So I get yeah. why people are concerned about that. But. Plus, he just lied through the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, terribly. I was hacked. I was. I was. We all know oh, that was great. We all know our politicians uh, lie, but Jesus, you see Amy's hacked. Amy's bakery excuse, right? Oh, the hackers got me. Yeah. Sure, I got I got like nailed for a few minutes. Oh there yeah, on uh, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. yesterday. What happened? And my Twitter account. It was uh, oh, yeah, all yeah, of a sudden yeah. they were like, "Hey, I've used these coupons, and maybe you can too." Click this link, and then yeah, it sent it out every like two minutes. Uh, and someone actually asked after I I erased them, and I was like, "Oh boy, you know it happens." Someone's like, "Did you get hacked?" It's like, no, I, I actually said, check these coupons out, you dummies. <laughs> People do anything for a retweet, I think. <laughs> you know uh, who, who hacked Roland's Twitter for a while? Oh, who? Br Brandon Steiner from Steiner's <laughs> Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Roland, Roland was getting so frustrated because for like a month or two months, like for a lot of time, every time there was a Steiner sports blog... <clears throat> Roland would send out a tweet about it. So I oh, we started man. busting his balls one day in the office. Like, why the fuck are you kissing this guy's ass? This He's on the show. He's a friend of the show. Like, you don't have to kiss his ass. You yeah, have to yeah. retweet every time he blogs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Roland goes, I don't know how to stop it. When he was here, he was showing me his website, and he showed me that the blog and the Twitter could link, and he clicked a couple <laughs> things on my oh, Twitter, shit. and I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> so he was just posting all these like Steiner sports blogs, start your own business. <laughs> Every day there'd be a new one. Oh, I love him. I love Roland that guy. Be like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, so I'll just lay on my back and spit water out my mouth in the office. <laughs> yes. That's, that's, that's how he remedied the situation. Yeah, yeah. I saw that one. Pretty good Vine videos. Six seconds of uh, hilarity with uh, Roland. He's laying on his back. He's pouring water in his mouth. I didn't see this and one. And then he almost chokes to death. I think that was an Iraq one. Was that an Iraq one? I think so. Yeah. Roland, uh... And then the fucking Danny, Danny embarrassing himself, uh, that doing was, a little... That one was mine. That was pretty bad. 
Um, <laughs> let's see. I'll give you the Roland one first. All right. There's Roland. <laughs> what is he doing here? He, Why sometimes, is... Well, first of all, people wonder how he got a lay, lay flat chair in his office. Yes. His chair is broken and his weight just brings it all the way back. He is laying flat back in an office chair. Wow. So he lays flat. He likes to... Uh, <laughs> I like how he almost drowned and spit the water out. He likes to sometimes make a, like a fountain effect. He, he fills his mouth up with water. Yeah. And then he just spits it up in the air, like in the middle of the day. That's great. <laughs> it looks like he was struggling and had to spit the water. No, no. He used that to propel himself up. Right. <laughs> this is the Denny one. And Denny, which is just... Uh, oh, ooh, that's... I think Denny was excited because... Uh, it was the day Will Smith was coming. Oh, oh, so, oh, so he was. Uh, Who's this Danny guy you talk of? He used to be on the show a while back. Yeah, yeah, um, something in the kind of a low radio impact player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Is Danny listening to us right now? Oh yeah, come Hope on so. down, Danny. Hope so come on down. Here he is. <laughs> yeah, get down. I'm going to Miami. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, get down. I'm going to Miami. Miami. What's he doing? He's dancing. Yeah. Sit down. I'm going to Miami. Who's watching him completely embarrassed in the back? That's Mud All. She works across from us. Sit down. She's not I'm very happy. No, everybody, nobody can stand Daddy around here because this is him all the time. Yeah. Hey, uh, people pointing to Run This to Town Miami. by Jay-Z. Uh, Does he use it? no homo in that fucking song? He might. Oh, yeah. Uh... At what point? Not the fake uh, McCoy. Totally not a big deal about Roy Hibbert. Look at the lyrics to Run This Town by Jay-Z. No homo has been in rap forever. That's where he got it from. Yeah, oh, I know. Yeah. But, why, no, but no, but one, I is, no one is explaining that. Because the NBA can't find Jay-Z for saying no homo. No, they can't. It they wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> hey, I didn't like what you said on your album. That was, what? Well, isn't he like an owner or something? Yeah, but he didn't go to a Nets press conference. No, but that is true. I you know what? He, did go. he was an owner. He was involved with them on some level. Yeah. And they, it's funny how, the, yeah, they didn't call his uh, lyrics into question. Yeah, well. Hey, no homo. <laughs> okay, no homo. Okay. Uh, okay. And the Iron Sheik is great to oh, follow. Just By the way, that's Kanye West who said that in that song. Oh, he did? Yeah. Whoops. I just thought of the lyric, and that was Kanye West's verse, not oh, verse. Oh, shit. And what's the verse? crazy how you can go from being Joe Blow to everybody on your dick. No homo. But wouldn't that be homo? Everyone on your dick? No, it's, a, it's like <laughs> slang. I know. Just, like everybody's on my nuts right now. No uh, homo. Uh, Frank Lautenberg is dead. Senator Frank Lausenberg. Lausenberg. <laughs> yeah, Bob Grant really hated him. Bob Grant him. could not stand him. Oh, look what Senator Lausenberg is up to. <laughs> 89. 89. Have a nice, uh, have a safe trip there, my friend. Rivet there. Breaking news. Yeah. Vine just released for the Android. No way. Could finally join you guys. Vine's really? on the Android? Finally join you guys. Holy shit. Oh, no. Here goes. Uh, Why? We got to get some fucking people <laughs> buying it. I think we're getting. Um, <laughs> Jeez. Ship is going to probably help a lot of people oh, now. Oh, yeah. Because they're going to be like, I got to get this. Chip yeah. is on it. Finds on the Android. He's doing the same. Video. He does the same video every time. Finds on the Android. <laughs> it's about Jeff Probst. He's trying not to laugh as he does it though, because Jeff wouldn't laugh at this. Guess what I just heard. <laughs> Finds on the Android. We still have time. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. Who cares? Let's see. Wait. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Oh. Who cares? Find on the Android. Find on the Android. Guess what I just heard? Find on the Android. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> uh, you're going to get on there, Rob? Oh, start know. vining? Okay. You got to find an angle. Got to start vining. You guys got angles. You could do anything. Yeah, you just do whatever. Yeah, like, like, stupid is dancing around the uh, office. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Going to Miami. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeesh. I was watching some people's vines last night. It was just like ponderous. You always got the worst vines on the internet. Oh, 
Roland. Oh, Rolands are terrible. <laughs> They're the worst. They are Why? nothing. There's nothing interesting. It's just like, here's a, a, a fucking yeah, subway stop. Yeah, he had one when he was going down the stairs to the subway. Yeah. And it was just him running downstairs. Oh, it's right, just going downstairs. There There's was, nothing there one, to them. There was one where he was running up to a homeless person, and he told me the divine ran out right before he got to her. <laughs> So it's just him running up. Does he know you can delete them before you post them if you, you know, nothing happened? There's another one where he's following some guy who's who's waving his arm like when he's walking. <laughs> right. And yeah. that's all it is. Yeah. Jesus. Rollins are the, best. the worst on, on the Internet. Yeah. I thought worst Denny lines. was coming down. Were you kidding? There's firemen getting into an elevator. That stinks. Look how bad this Roland is. just filmed six, six seconds in a row. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing you could do with Vine. It's, it's just, yeah, hit it, let it go for six <laughs> seconds, and you're done. It's a guy walking. Oh, this guy's elbow. <laughs> he really is the worst. Breaking news. Oh, uh, why, why? Jim Kelly of uh, the Buffalo Bills. You read this, yes. too? Fuck, man. Just announced that he has upper jaw cancer. <laughs> ah. Upper jaw. Is that from upper, uh, tobacco? Did, did he use that chaw? You never know. I mean, is some that people from just chewing get tobacco? that shit. Some people just get it. Holy fuck. But, uh, oh, my God. That's that just so came lovely. in, too, man. And also, LeBron said no homo back in 2010. and was not penalized by the NBA. But now it's a thing. Well, yeah. Now everyone is uber sensitive. I say blow homo. Because <laughs> that's what you do. Pause. Pause. What? No pause. No, no, no. No, no, no <laughs> pause. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I think Rollins deleting his vines. Is why? Uh, why? Why would he do that? Because the link wasn't working. Maybe he's not, but the link. You think he's going to blame oral sex? Oh no, I'm sorry, Rollins is not. I was just oh, Jim Kelly. I was thinking the same yeah, thing. Blame oral sex. <laughs> what is this? Michael Douglas. This is called waving his arms back recklessly. That's his vine video. That's his vine. It's a person walking down the sidewalk, swinging his arm, and apparently Roland thought he was swinging it too much. What? He kind of is. Roland does good, good, though, man. You like that? Fuck yeah! Uh. Oh, I'm swinging piece of shit! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah! Uh, Chip, uh, here's, here's Chip, tell me what you think of this one. All right. This is called Catching the Subway. Okay. Catching the Subway. It's, uh, down a step, down a step, down a step, down a step. Down, down the steps. Fuck yeah, that, right oh. down the steps! That... Could be the worst vine I've ever seen. <laughs> they should just call that down the steps. It's there's nothing, nothing there. Do you know how great this is that these his vines? They're, this is what vine is. They're terrible. It's six seconds in a row. In a row. If it were just his face, because yeah. he's got a funny face, and it was like panicking, like Ooh, and, his and eyes he's running open, down the stairs. That could be funny. You can't just put the These stairs. These are perfect. Just the stairs. These no. are great. Why don't we have Ro um, Roland come in and explain his Vine video? Yeah. We should. Yeah, we can, Roland. Yeah, he, is, he is on his way. Oh, God. Garbage. Here he comes. Why don't he Vine the fucking walk down to the studio? Find the carpet. Yeah, what is this? Idea. This is called NYC Streets. <laughs> and this it's, is this is when he walks up to the woman, but he runs out of time. But at he's the end. not. What does he think? He's Look. got like a 90 minute feature? So why doesn't he do it again? <laughs> he moved on. Wow. Roland! <laughs> he doesn't even know we want him. There he is. Hi, Roland. Hi, Roland. <laughs> We're huge fans of your Vine videos. We're, uh, we've been watching your Vines. Yes. You, you, Very you good. Post Very some creative. Vine videos. What do you think of them? Personally? Oh, I don't care. <laughs> Apparently not. I, I think don't. I think the perennial favorite is catching the subway. Catching the subway is a I good know. one. I, I just like you know like, people get so angry they go they suck. So I keep on doing worse at work. <laughs> <laughs> so fuck everybody. Now that's <laughs> great. <laughs> one guy goes. One guy goes. Y it makes no sense. I just made another one that made even less sense than the last one. <laughs> you want to do a Vine video where you like fucking panning on the side of the building and you just fucking go up like here's heaven. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> oh, how douchey. Oh, God, shit. So many angry people. Makes me laugh. Yeah, yeah a bunch of angry, angry birds, right, Roll? Yeah. Oh, don't roll. Right, Roll? <laughs> like he's trying to be buddy buddy with Roll. Chip is so annoying. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fucking you are. Oh, good ones. Got me. <laughs> 
They were watching the vine that Eric made too, and you were squirting water like uh, a fountain. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah I like that, that one. Yeah. yeah, it was Eric's vine. The one that I showed you before when Roland was oh, squirting yeah. water. Oh, so you uh, purposefully uh, try to make the most dull, senseless radio show possible? <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't care. I put I put it up. I go. People are gonna hate this one. I just said send, and they get mad at you. Send. And it's yeah. funny that they would get mad at you. Someone goes, "This is this makes no sense." Look at that fat woman. <laughs> Boom. Well, that him. is ridiculous. She's shaking her ass. To you want to call that one? Shake, 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 shake your booty. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. That's good, right? Well, you can, you can yeah. just put shake your booty. And you gotta say it like the song. Yeah. <laughs> shake, 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 shake your booty. <laughs> I don't know if the song has that many shakes. It does. Oh. Uh, My mother would listen to it. Uh, you go. Let's make it. Uh, so it makes no sense. That's boring. <laughs> you know what's so great about this vine? Huh. Halfway through, it's only six seconds long. Mm -hmm. Halfway through, she stopped shaking her ass. She <laughs> yeah, her yeah. Ass the yeah. Whole time. She must have been shaking it to a thought in her head. Yeah. Oh, uh, there was a question posed online that uh, me and my brother knew something about, but couldn't quite figure out what the fuck it was. Back in the early 70s, there was a movie. It was either a movie of the week, a, um ABC mystery movie. Kind of like one of those can uh, McLeod or fucking Columbo shows or something. But there was some woman, and she's crazy. She's like in a, a hospital or something. And she's she's just kind of rocking back and forth singing, Hey, nani, nani, nani. Hey, nani, nani, nani. And she's like, she wants to stab somebody. And it was, uh, it, everyone's speculating whether it's a, a mystery movie, a TV movie, a TV show, Owen Marshall, Counselor at Law, I don't know. Jesus. But it's it's like the early 70s. And some people remember this, if you, you know, around that age. Uh, but I have no idea, and we're trying to figure out what the actual show was. Whether it was a show or a movie, and what happened. But she would sing this Hey Nani Nani song. <laughs> uh, now, I, believe me, I looked at every Everything. possible uh, Google thing and um, YouTube Video obsessed. obsessed trying to figure this out. Hey, nani, nani. So if anybody, oh, hey, I nani, know nani, that nani. one. And it's like, and you feel blithe and bonnie. Hey, nani, nani, nani. And she's like, got a knife, and she's all creepy, she's rocking back and forth. And it was like from the seventies, early seventies. It sounds really mid seventies. It was kind of creepy at the time, but then my uncle Tony would run around the house and 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 say it with a knife in his hand and scare us kids. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's <was> great. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, child of the '80s. Okay, right. They're putting child of the '80s. Well, there. we are. He is more like '60s or '70s. No, no, we're, we're children of the Look. '80s. It's very obvious. Look. Yeah, it's an old one. Child of the '80s, right here. Absolutely not. It's a little taste of the '90s, by the way. A little, a little taste. taste. <laughs> a little taste. A little taste of the '90s. I got a little taste of the '90s too. Ah, oh, Jesus. A little yeah. taste. A little. What? Uh, in your thirties? Child of the '80s with a little taste of the '90s. Yeah. Now you're really stretching. <laughs> no, yeah. no, I'm not. Bull Holy fucking shit. shit, right, Sammy? <laughs> no, Chip. They could be whatever they want if you'll shut the fuck up. Oh wow! Mm. Hey, oh, this is a funny. Video. I got the answer. Oh, you do? Yeah. Let's say hi to Joe on Long Island, Joe. Yeah, how you doing, Ed? I think uh, that movie you're thinking about might be the end of Trilogy of Terror. No, that was only the little doll thing that ran around and oh, man, stabbed I we had the answer for somebody. It. That wasn't it, though. No? Definitely not. No? At the end, she's uh, playing with the knife, muttering something, I kind of remember. No, that wasn't it. The little fucking doll that ran around stabbing people was great. No, that But that wasn't, wasn't it. it. No. Right, I gave it a shot. Sorry. Thanks, Joe. Sorry. Yeah, it's just a, it's a mystery to me. I was checking all the old shows and... Some will get things like that. Attack. Like someone said, it might have been the rookies, but I don't think it was the rookies. I don't know. <laughs> Night gallery. It wasn't Night Gallery. Uh, the most I could think is that it was a an ABC mystery movie thing, but maybe not. Oh, Chip's got another. In the package. <laughs> he just repeats things. <laughs> He's. You did something with the razor. It's fucking hilarious. Let me see, Chippa. What's wrong with my razor? My razor's broke. Still in the package. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with my razor? My razor's broke. It's still in the package. And he's trying to shave, but it's still in the package. You know, you could do a normal hilarious video. Oh, with it in the package. With it in the and package. And then with and it the regular, package. yeah. But you should cut your face up so you're bleeding crazy. Yeah. That wouldn't be funny. Uh, you try it on your wrist. Would be. 
absolutely be funny at John and your friends. <laughs> I should do another normal hilarious. You should. Like, maybe I could do, like, I'm standing here like this, and I could go normal, and then put, like, the headphones on my head and go, hilarious. Is that hilarious? Oh, yeah. I don't think it is. You should do it, then. <laughs> oh, oh god, the look he gets like homicidal. All kinds of homicidal. weird stuff. Like I could go like normal and then put my wallet on my face and go hilarious. The wallet on like, your I, face. Yeah, like is I call hilarious. myself table face. I'm putting stuff on my table. I don't know why that's hilarious. It's not. Oh, it is. Okay, good. It, it's so hilarious. We're gonna yeah. go home now. <laughs>